Welcome to day 20 of your 30 days of grounding. You are two thirds of the way through this journey. I'm so proud of you. Today, we're going to need either a blanket or a bolster, and we're gonna work on stoking the digestion through some compression in the belly um, in one of my favorite back bends. So we're gonna start just with a simple warm up. Come to tabletop, please. Spread your 10 fingers and right away, Come into your ujjayi breath. So your inhale, drop the belly, sound your breath at the back of the throat. And then exhale, round your spine and coil in. Good, inhale, press into the tops of your feet, open your chest. As you exhale this time, you're gonna push so much into the floor, you're gonna pull the front body back and you're gonna hover your knees just above the floor. And then set your knees down, inhale, Lower your belly, open your throat. Exhale, round your spine, really squeeze the front body into the back. Hover the knees just above the floor. And then do that one more time. Inhale, doing as little as possible through the neck and shoulders. Try not to take this in the neck. Really feel the belly drawing back, feel your organs push back, and then hovering the knees. Set your knees down, inhale, and step back to downward dog on your exhale. Shift forward to plank on your inhale. Push the floor away. You can always set your knees down if you need to. And then downward facing dog on your exhale. Good, let's do that two more times. Inhale, move to plank, lengthen the front body. Exhale, lift your hips and press your thighs back. Make sure your feet are wide and your sitting bones go up. Inhale again. And exhale. Good. Take your right leg up to the sky. Bend your knee and open your hip and sense the right side of the belly and the top of the right thigh stretching. Keep both hands really heavy. Pull your outer left hip back. Take another deep breath. Stretching your belly, the top of the thigh, exhale, drop your brain. Straighten your legs, square your hips, and step your right foot forward. Plant down into your right foot, come up high lunge, inhale. Put a little bend in your back knee, reach your tailbone underneath you, and pull your front ribs back. Inhale here, and then exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, lean forward, and then exhale, push into your right foot and drag your back foot in and come into warrior three. Take a breath, roll your shoulders back, lift your sternum. So I want this to be a little bit more of a back bendy warrior three than that very linear straight warrior three. Take an exhale, bend your standing knee, step back, inhale, reach up, Put a little bend in that back knee, pull the hip points up, and slowly set your back knee down. Take an inhale here, and let's just rinse left hand forward, right hand back. Take both arms up, inhale, downward dog. Put your hands down, shoot your right leg up and back, bend your knee and open your hip again. Take a big inhale, both hands are equal with weight, Exhale completely. Straighten your legs, square your hips, and set your left foot down. Take your left leg up to the sky on an inhale. Wait for your exhale, open your left hip, bend your left knee, and sense this opening through the left side of your belly. Sense the opening in the left thigh, left hip flexor, both hands heavy. Take one more breath, exhale completely, and then straighten your legs, square your hips, and step your left foot forward. Push into your left footprint and rise up, inhale. Put a little bend in your back knee and just a little gesture of lifting the hip points and leaning back. Take another inhale, climb your rib cage up. As you exhale, lean forward, slide your back foot in and come into warrior three. Energize your back leg, lift your sternum. So there's 
a little feeling of a back bend here, but we're still drawing in around the waist. Take another breath. Exhale. Good, one more breath. Right inner thigh lifts. Go ahead and slowly step your right foot back, land. Take your arms up, inhale. Put a bend in your back knee. Lift your hip points up and then follow that all the way down. You'll notice that things get a little interesting there and land. Inhale, keep tucking the right sitting bone under and twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Take your arms up, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, come to your belly, chaturanga. And then bring your forehead to the ground for a moment. Spread your fingers, press your pubic bone down, press your toenails down. Roll your shoulders back and curl up. Keep your pubic bone on the floor though and stretch the skin of the belly. Exhale, push the organs of the belly down as you bring your head down. We'll do that again. Keep your legs heavy. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale. Stretch from pubic bone all the way to sternum. And then lower and push the belly down. Your cobra may not come up as high. It's okay, but we're looking one more for that feeling of stretching the skin, which requires the legs to be really heavy and anchored. Good. Walk your elbows underneath you. Bend your left knee. You're going to reach back with your left hand, with your, with your left hand for your left foot, and then gently hug your inner thighs together. Start to pull the left heel toward your outer left hip. So I'm not lining it up with my butt cheek. I'm coming to the side there. And then that same action we did in the lunge where you scooped your pelvis underneath you. I want you to find that there. Take an inhale. Now drag the skin of your belly forward, just like we did in Cobra. And exhale, relax your neck. If for some reason this goes into your low back, you can always set the head down and still get a nice stretch on that side. Take another breath. Keep pulling down with your left hand. Slide the skin of your belly forward and press your pubic bone down. Release your left foot, lower down for a moment. I always like to just pause and feel the difference. My left hip feels a little closer to the floor than my right. And then we'll come to the second side. Left elbow underneath you. Bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand. And the knees will wanna splay out. I want you to keep the inner thighs just hugging in a little bit. Push into the left elbow, right hand to right foot, and nice and easy, start to pull the heel toward your outer hip. And I should have mentioned this earlier, you could do this with a strap if you need to. Pubic bone heavy. Keep sensing that lengthening through the front of the right thigh. And now slide your belly forward. So sensing the the skin of the belly first, but then I want you to think of that stretching of the skin as giving the organs more room to kind of lift and slide and move around. Take one more breath. Press the pubic bone down as you pull the heel in and then release, set it down, lower your head, take a breath. Good, and then you're gonna grab your towel or your blanket or your bolster. I'm gonna use a towel um, or a blanket and I'm just gonna roll it up so it's fairly thick and it's wider than my pelvis. And then from here, I want you to bring your belly, the soft part of your belly onto your bolster. And I'm just right above my hip points here. And then bend your left knee. Reach back with your left hand and kick your foot into your hand. And notice that when you did that, 
kind of lifted you up. Keep that, you can stay right there, or keep kicking back, bend your right knee, and take your right hand to your right foot. Try to lean the belly towards the bolster, stimulating digestion, curl up through the chest, kick your feet back into your hands, pull your hands back into your feet. Relax your neck, take a breath. Now you have to keep tension, kick back with that right foot and right hand to let go with the left. And then support yourself, lower down, and then go ahead and just drape yourself over your little bolster. Big breath in, belly to blanket. And then exhale, just lay over the blanket. Good. And then walk your hands underneath you, curl up and come into just cobra here. You can kind of rest the belly on your blanket, keep the legs active, relax your neck. And then lift the pelvis, slide your feet over to the side and take a seat. Close your eyes and just tune into the sensations in your belly. Take a couple breaths, just examining that uh, vividness in the tissue. Drink lots of water today. We stimulated your digestive system. We want to keep things flowing and moving and hydrated. When you're ready, bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep bow in. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.